My name is Cameron, also known as Venus Theory, and welcome to the first episode of Mixgraph Quick Tips. In these videos, we'll be taking a look at common questions as well as some helpful tips to improve your workflow and your productions. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at using virtual instruments that offer multiple outputs inside of Mixgraph. Before we get into it though, be sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for future episodes, and if you have a suggestion or just a question, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. Mixcraft offers the ability to utilize multiple outputs from instruments, which is a great feature to know about to manage your multi-output plugins and individually mix the elements of a layered instrument. This means if you have an instrument like Contact, Falcon, Addictive Drums, or even want to use Mixcraft's included Omni Sampler in 8-out mode, you can mix each output individually with different faders and processing chains. Here, I have an instance of UVI Falcon with three layers of key sounds that I'd like to use all at once. However, I'd like to mix each one individually with some EQ, added effects, and a volume fader. To begin, we can close this out and open the virtual instrument window inside of Mixcraft on this track. From here, in the details view, we can hit configure below the outputs to configure our outputs. These should be configured automatically, but you may need to adjust them here in some cases, or if you want to disable the unused outputs. Once this is set up, we can hit OK and close the virtual instrument window. To view the different outputs, we can use the plus icon next to the instrument here, or, if you'd like to do it down on the mixer, you can use the plus icon next to the instrument name to expand all the child tracks. These child tracks represent the different available outputs for the instrument. In this case, if we scroll down, we can see that we have 17 different outputs available from Falcon. If we go up and play this instrument right now, we'll see that all the sounds are going to a single track, which isn't what we want. Instead, we want each of these layers going to its own child track. To fix this, we'll open up our instrument and assign each layer to a separate output. As a quick note, the process of routing each layer to a separate output is going to be different for every virtual instrument, so if you're not sure how to do that, you might need to consult the manual. Within my instrument here, we'll see that each of these has an output section here, and they're all routed to main out, which is Falcon 1 right here in the child tracks. To separate these, I'll just go in and assign each one to a separate output, so now we should have 1, 2, and 3. Now, if we play this instrument again, we'll see that the first three child tracks are active with each track containing one of the layers of this instrument. The really cool part of all this is that we can now individually control these layers with the faders, panning controls, and even add individual effects change to each layer to EQ them independently, add other processing, and more. Now that we've separated these, added some processing, and mixed them, let's take a listen to the final result. And I think that about wraps everything up for this video, so I hope this video was helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.